the difference between web design and web development is kind of like, I, maybe the easiest way is to look at it like you're building a house. So I guess the designer will be the architect who comes up with the plans and you design everything beforehand. And then I guess a construction team who deliver that is, is, is kind of like the developers and there's different types of developers. So how it works is normally when, when I'm designing the website, you'll have a UX UI designer and a, a graphic designer or UI designer. So they'll work together. They'll go through, they'll sketch out the website, they'll put wireframes together. They'll work through the whole user-centered design process. And at and the end, they'll deliver basically kind of like a finished design. And you know what? Sometimes it won't be finished. Sometimes uh, different companies just do it differently. But when that designers, they think it's ready to go. How companies work now is they do this thing called, it's called agile development. So they'll and, and you work in these things called stories. So you'll take the design that the design has done, you'll break it down into small chunks, and then you'll pass those small chunks on to the development team. And then the front end developers will make that real. So we work in completely different programs. So a designer will work in something like Adobe XD or Figma, and a front end developer, to be honest, I don't even know half the programs that they use, but they put the, put it together in code. Like there's different tools for design, there's different tools for putting it together in code, but there's different skill sets involved. So I've done, I've dabbled around in a little bit of front end development and you know what, it's, it's quite fun. It's quite fun to actually build stuff. My brain doesn't work like that. Sometimes I get a bit frustrated when there's problems, but there's a, they work in a few different types of web, web technologies. So they work in HTML, which is the actual fundamental code really for the website. It, it's not, it's not a huge library. It's not, it's not massively, none of this is rocket science. But HTML is basically telling the computer what to display on the screen. Then the CSS, the HTML say, here's a table. Then the CSS will say, this table needs to look like this. So the CSS is all the graphics, all the fonts, all the coloring, all the styling for that table. So the same piece of HTML could look a million different ways. And that's all down to the CSS that they do. And then there's things like JavaScript, which is, so you've got your table, you've got how it looks. Then JavaScript is kind of like the interactive part of it. So it could be, where's it pulling the data from? How it animates and the complex nature of it. There's front-end developers who do the visual start of putting the website together. And there's back-end developers who do all the logic and they'll have databases where all the information is stored. And the front-end people, which is how the website's displayed on screen, will figure out how to talk to the back-end people, where all the information comes from. And they're the ones who bring it together. So if you're more into coding, if you're more into, I guess, mathematics and logic and trying to make things work, then development is more for you. Designers, you know what? It's kind of changing over time and there's actual tools that are bringing them together. So like Webflow. So Webflow is something that you can design and develop in. And I imagine over time, possibly these two jobs are going to come together maybe more ui designers and developers i think ux is more research based and more i think it's too broad really to have one person do it all i imagine maybe in small companies and startups where they have limited funds you might get a ux designer ui device and developer in one but for the majority of people i think it's best to separate your skill sets and Go where you're passionate about. If you're passionate about design and talking to customers and testing things, then you might find UX more rewarding. If you're more passionate about making things, um, you, you, maybe you don't have as much control about how it looks, but you want to take something and make it, then development might be the way to go. And maybe if you like both, you'll be lucky and find a job which combines both. They're the key differences. So the key differences are a, de a designer will work in different programs, they'll talk to customers more, they'll put together a plan, kind of like the architect lays out a house, and then the developer will take that plan and make it a reality, kind of like the construction team do on a house. You can still work with the architect and change things if they think the way it's implemented is not right, because the architect isn't always 100% right, and they, they're not doing the groundwork. So there's a relationship between the two, but I think the different skill sets, although they possibly could move together closer with the introduction of things like Webflow and other tools. But I still think the different mindsets, really. And I think there's always going to be an option for both. And in my experience, I've always found that there's more developers than designers, because I think you can design things a lot quicker than you can actually make them. And there's like bugs and testing goes along. So possibly if you're looking for 
a job and you're worried about the amount of opportunities, I'd probably say at the moment there's probably more development jobs, but I may be wrong in the future. That's just from my personal point of view. And for the teams I work with, maybe there's five developers to one designer. But guys, just go, what are you passionate about? Uh, if you're passionate and you have commitment and you know, you'll put in the work and you'll get a job doing either. But they're the two different skill sets. Let me know in the comments what you think. You might disagree, but this is just my own personal opinion. And until next time, keep designing or developing.